Halo 3 ODST recently celebrated its 10th anniversary and in the season of that Halo 5 has released the ODST Slayer playlist. Now is this place a stud or a dud? Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again give you another gameplay commentary. Today we're talking about the brand new never before seen playlist ODST Slayer brought into Halo 5. If you guys like these kind of review-ish vid videos make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below if you've had a chance to play the ODST Slayer playlist and what your thoughts on it. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you're new to the channel and want to stay updated with anything going on with Halo, it's Halo 5, Halo Infinite, MCC, everything in between. Make sure you tap subscribe keep yourself updated. Day. let's get right into the video here so like i mentioned at the top of this video halo 3 odst recently had its 10th anniversary which is crazy to think it's been 10 years since the release of that game now a lot of people felt very uh, different about that compared to previous halo games as it had a very different tone to it and some people really enjoyed that it has a very special place within the halo campaigns because it plays and feels so different compared to all the other campaigns and so in the anniversary celebration of the 10th anniversary in halo 5 Five, they put together the ODST Slayer playlist, which is a never before seen playlist added into Halo 5. And the cool thing about this is that they tried to kind of give you the feeling of playing like an ODST in Halo 5's matchmaking system. Now there are some gameplay changes, some weapon changes and things and thematic changes on top of that with some map changes on well everything included. So does this gameplay actually play out rather well where you should actually jump in and play it or is it kind of like something yeah don't bother with it skip it and come back to it later. In this video I'm going to give you my opinions on why I think ODST Slayer is something you should definitely jump in and play. So what is ODST Slayer? Well the idea of it is that you spawn in with a tag magnum and a silenced SMG. So two silent weapons right there and the key differences here when it comes to gameplay is one your health is much lower it's very similar to say what uh, breakout is that kind of level of health where you don't have shields and it's like a three shot tag mag shot to get the kill so it's a very quick kills uh, very more conducive I guess to like solo play because it's not too crazy on uh, power-ups, power weapons, and things like that on the map. Uh, but the thing is that you can only clamber, sprint, or slide. There is no boosting, no uh, ground pound, or anything like that. So it actually kind of gives you like the classic feel of Halo where like you don't have these crazy abilities with other and very similar weapons but then kind of updates it with the sprint and clamber and the slide added in there with these new weapons it actually plays out to me very well getting the three shot headshots is so satisfying in this game as well and the funny thing is if you still put five connected shots on a player and get that fifth shot as a kill it still counts as a perfect which is kind of funny to think about um, so uh, and then also not only did they just make a new playlist, they brought you some new maps on top of that. Uh, they have Precinct, which is obviously a remake of kind of Momasa Streets kind of thing. It actually plays out rather well. And actually, all the maps in this play out rather well, except maybe not so much the original Halo 5 maps that they brought in, which we'll talk about that later. But uh, Precinct is a, a Forge map, which plays out super well. It really captures that theme of ODST. And it feels like you're in an ODST map, which is super well done in, well, in Forge. Halo 5's Forge is incredible. And uh, then you also have the map called Redacted, which is based off of the mission you, know, you go to the Oni base in ODST. And uh, it's very similar to like the kind of station right there. It's actually based off of, also off of a Firefight map that's in the game as well, uh, with it taking its own liberties on top of that. So it plays better for the Halo 5 multiplayer, but I actually really like that map a lot. It's very quick and easy to understand. The power-ups and stuff like that are not very prominent on that map, so it's much more about your gun skill, your awareness, and your positioning throughout that map. So uh, with decently long lines of sight, they kind of help vary up the gameplay a little bit. And that actually is probably my favorite map in the entire playlist, let's be real here. Uh, one cool variation of a Halo 5 map is the Plaza ODST version where uh, they change the visuals of the map to where they're not so green and much more kind of a um, higher contrast, uh, lower saturation kind of look to the whole thing, added some palm trees and modified the edges of the map a little bit to kind of fit the aesthetic of ODST but still plays uh, very much just like how you expect Plaza to play out, but the visuals of it are really nice. You also have Empire, Eden, Coliseum, Riptide, 
and regret or and also overgrowth which i actually never got a chance to play and also the rig are going to be in this playlist as well they all pretty much play out like their halo 5 standard ca counterparts but with just like odst weapons and less abilities which you can definitely tell in some of the maps where you're trying to traverse that your options are very limited especially in plaza where i'm used to kind of you know um, boost sliding uh, super sliding over to the edges being able to slide around the map to where i can like slide up to clamper up to something worth using the um, stabilization jets to get to certain elevation points so that definitely some of the maps do play out a little differently for the most part though they do play very similar I uh, definitely didn't get a chance to play Overgrowth, which was different. And there actually is no radar on these as well, which uh, is pretty good. I mean, the reason why they keep the radar, especially in uh, competitive, they kind of really wanted that is because uh, the, your ability to traverse the map so well and so quickly really makes it so a rate some form of radar is actually very necessary though in this version of uh halo 5 with odst kind of set up that uh radar being removed is actually not that bad uh you can still kind of keep an eye on where people are and stuff like that i never felt like i was lost and never knew exactly where people were spawning and where they were coming from uh it could just be the map design kind of working out well for this game types but it's kind of like a nice little hybrid of classic and modern which is uh i think actually plays out rather well some of the weapons though don't really tune very well for it especially like the needler when someone has a decent needler shot on you you're you're definitely dead uh just because the weapons tuned to deal with the spartan abilities a lot of these weapons are and so um you know the hit detection might be a little bit a little bit extra forgiving for you and some of the weapons might not play out super well the sniper rifle is basically a one-shot kill it's like a poor man's norn fang no matter where you hit him it's a one-shot kill which is it's kind of a fun variation to play on uh just because uh, having like those easy call of duty like sniper kills is actually kind of fun to play around with and uh so i actually really enjoyed that now i'm to focus so much on headshots with the sniper and just kind of getting good position to get easy kills but yeah maps like i said like uh eden coliseum riptide regret they don't or even overgrowth and the rig as well uh, they don't really do much to kind of give you the theme of playing ODSC and like there's some drop pods and different in the ODSC themed weapons on the map but they pretty much feel like you're playing a Halo 5 game with uh, less abilities and different weapons. Though I cannot praise Redacted and Precinct enough that these two maps really shine in this playlist so and they do rotate in quite often I think they're actually probably a little weighted a little bit more which is nice because uh, I much rather play the cool new Forge maps than like maps I've played a million times playing Halo 5 and uh, so kudos to the Forgers in uh, those two maps because actually I really really enjoy them and they definitely feel like you're playing ODC I mean especially uh, even Redact, like I said earlier, is based off of a, of the a, uh, firefight map that's also in the campaign, and so but they you know modified to make it play better in multiplayer, and uh, the you know they've done just a fantastic job, and they've really kind of matched the visual aesthetic almost to a T uh, from ODST to Halo 5. That's what tells you how well the Halo 5 forges come along to where that these uh, map editors can really kind of suffice as you know a you know developer quality map i mean even redacted it is made by 343 and plus right now guys it's double xp jump on it when you can get that xp get that 152 grind guys you know because it's uh definitely not easy to come across when it comes to that kind of stuff so overall what is my opinion on to summarize everything when it comes to ODSC Slayer, I think it's awesome, really fun to play. I uh, definitely want to jump in and get your hands on this game while it's still on. I think it's only gonna be here for like two weeks maybe, but I'd love to see it stay because it's uh, just a very fun variation. I really like it for like a lower health mode, uh, much more than like a breakout or even SWAT even. I like this mode more than SWAT, which is, I know some people are like, oh, how could you, how dare you? But that's just my opinion, man. I really like this mode a lot. Uh, but if you guys have had a chance to play this mode, leave it in the comment section down below. I, uh, I want to read your opinions. I do read all of them and try to reply to most of them as well. If you're new to the channel, make sure to tap subscribe. We you know, keep you up to date with everything going on in the Halo universe as a whole here. And if you're new to the channel and uh, you know, miss any videos from me, check out the videos on the screen right now. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out. Next kill win.
Game over. Victory.